are sight and hunting there. And they're quite a fish. Yeah, they're uh, they're large and strong and pretty amazing. We're here to uh, try to get a handle on the spawning population for Atlantic sturgeon. And uh, there were there used to be a fishery for them in the Hudson, and they're closed in '96 because there were not very many of them left. They'll most likely be able to tell you if there's fish because they can feel them tugging. We're really looking comprehensively at restoring sturgeon on the Hudson. We're looking at protecting habitat, restoring uh, the ability of, of sturgeon to spawn, managing mortality in the ocean, yeah. managing water quality. You have to look at how all the pieces fit together. What happens on the shoreline affects what happens to fish in the river. So right. these fish have been in the Hudson since there's been a Hudson River. Let's say the river as we know it today has been here for 10,000 years. We're hoping for another 10,000 years of sturgeon on the Hudson. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks. Now let's see what happens in the third net. Okay. And that's also the scan for a tag? Yep, any previous um, pit tag? Back into the river. Not the head end, then? Sure. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible.